everybody, Ira Miller with I Am Realty and Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel. Today we're coming to you from Alaire Loop in uh, the village of, where are we? I guess we're in the village of uh, DeSoto, I think. So um, anyways, we're out here in the villages. I just, well, not just, probably, it's probably been about three weeks now, three weeks to a month that we've closed on this home. This has been a home from hell, actually, I have to say. Uh, now, on the surface, beautiful Lantana home. Three car garage, not a two and a half car garage, but a three car garage, which is beautiful. And it sits on a lake and it sold for $750,000, but needed some help, right? So here, what we're, here's what we're gonna do. We have some before and after pictures. So the first thing was after we closed, well, actually, let's back up. Before we closed, I told the listing agent, look, the home smells really bad and the shower had mold all in it. So we said we wanted the house completely cleaned. That was in the contract. We put that in the contract. And we wanted the carpets clean. We put that in the contract. And so, Listing agent was great. He went ahead, he called um, a cleaning company. They came out, supposedly cleaned the house and uh, called a carpet cleaning company. They came out and cleaned the, and cleaned the carpet because the carpet was nasty. So we close on the house. Actually, First of all, no, again, I need to back up. We did a walkthrough the day before. In our walkthrough, I came over here and there was a white streak going down the driveway with a big hairball, glob hairball, sitting right here. I'm like, what? So come to find out that the carpet cleaning company pulled their back their truck up, went ahead and dumped everything. So what happened, what I figured out was that white residue was uh, that pet carpet powder that you put in a house to try to disguise the odor of a, of a dog because the lady, quite frankly, was a nasty, filthy person who lived in this house. Obviously, with the way the shower looked, now with the way all that pet powder came out of that carpet, but still the carpet company did a horrible job. You're gonna see in just a second how bad of a job they did. <laughs> Lastly, the tile was really gross as well. So, at our walkthrough, I called the listing agent and I said, hey, this is unacceptable. These people didn't clean the, the shower, it's nasty, it still has black mold in it. You need to get them back here. Okay, so they got them back here. Um, they did a halfway, you know, decent job of cleaning up the shower. But we told them we wanted the whole house clean. That means going inside the drawers, cleaning out the drawers, making this home spotless. They did not do that. So we don't get sued. I'm, if you want to know who these people are, you give me a call. I'll tell you exactly who the carpet cleaners are, the cleaners are. And now we're coming to the grout people. So I told my customer, I said, look, I'm gonna take care of everything that wasn't really to your standards. I'll take care of it. So I called the cleaning company again. 
And I said, hey, I need you to send somebody out here because they didn't clean out, the, they didn't clean the drawers. The drawers were, you know, had crumbs and stuff in it. They need to come back out here and clean. Well, we were only hired to do, you know, two hours worth of cleaning and blah, blah, blah. I said, look, I'll pay for another hour, hour and a half, whatever it takes. I'll pay for it. Send somebody out here. I want to make my customer happy. Send somebody out here. So they did. They sent somebody out here and, the, and they did a so-so job again. I even had Blakely sitting with out here, not leaving and making sure that these people did the job that they were supposed to do. And I paid for it. So let's go ahead. Let's go inside. Let's get a before shot of the areas we're gonna clean. Then we'll do an after shot, and then we'll see uh, how everything kind of works itself out here, all right? Let's go ahead and go on inside. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get changed as well. So um, I've got Christian helping me out on the other side of the camera. So let's go ahead and go on inside. All right, so we're in the house. Um, before we get to the tile, I wanna go ahead and show you this carpet that was supposedly clean. I don't know how it's gonna come out on uh, camera, but um, you know, here's the deal. I mean, it, this is just over here, it's dark, it's nasty, it's mad. Look how matted it is down here um, and dirty still. Look at, look how, so over here, so let me show you this, they had something in the corner. This is the way the carpet should have looked. They had a corner unit here. This is a nice, clean, fresh, new looking, and then look the way it looks here. Nasty. Still smells. Um, again, just matted down. This carpet company, which I usually use all the time, really let me down. And uh, so, very disappointed. Here's the saving grace of it all. The, the buyer said, you know what, Ira, don't worry about the carpet because I'm ripping it out, I'm putting LVP in. Okay, so that was the end. We didn't have that carpet company back here cleaning again. I probably would have had them back here more than once, I would suspect. But anyways, we don't have to worry about the carpet. They're ripping it all out and they're putting LVP, luxury vinyl planking in. That's gonna, that's what this house really needs. And so when we looked at this house, you know, and we talked about that, she agreed with me that that's what she was gonna do to kind of upgrade this home. Look at this view though. This is a beautiful view of the lake back there. So a giant lanai in the back, it's, very, it's an oversized lanai, it's, it's just great. So this home, we call the bones of this home is fantastic. So whatever she does to it from here on out is, um, is just gonna increase the value of this home. All right, so let's get started. When I walked in here, I saw this dark line here, right? And here in front, of the, in front of the sink, it's dark. This is where they claim, and it's dark here. This is where they claim it's wet. So I'm going to show you the other two spots that I was very disappointed in. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the batteries on my protimeter. And then we're going to test this, and we're going to see if it's still wet. But like I said... This house, it's been a week later since they cleaned the, uh, the tile. So this is, this came out pretty good. I'll get out of the light. This is the way the tile should look. I mean, the grout should look, okay? And I see a little hairline crack in here. And so, 
You can fill that in with some sanded caulk, right? But the tile, the grout companies claim that water got behind the grout and caused it to look dark. Right here disputes that because you do have a little bit of a, of a uh, cracking right there. But anyways, this is what is driving me crazy. So look how nasty that is and around there. They should have cleaned this. I'm gonna clean this and I'm gonna show you it can be cleaned. And it can be cleaned a lot better than what they clean. This is the shower now, okay? So um, they did come in here and uh, this is caulk, this is not grout. This is the sanded caulk, because I can feel it, I can touch it. So they didn't re-grout it, they put the, uh, the sanded caulking around the bottom of the shower, but this was all black. It took the cleaning company to come out here twice, it took these people to come in here, take out the old caulk and re-caulk it. Uh, they didn't grout it like they said they were gonna grout it. They caulked it. All right, so one more, one more area over here. And this is over here by, by, the, um, by the toilet. This is dark. It's not light like it's like over here. It should be this color, not this color. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean all this up. couple days to dry because we just did this one line here that looked uh, that looked too dark and uh, we'll see how we did how, if we did better than the professional tie, uh, tile grout people okay so we'll see you in a couple days hey everybody all right so we are back out here at 1277 Alaire Loop. This is uh, this is Tuesday. So we were last here last week uh, on I believe it was Thursday, 
did all the grout cleaning that the grout cleaning company didn't do. And so we're getting ready to go in and check it out. I haven't even been in there yet. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like, okay? All right, so I also have um, some caulk that I brought with me that I'm going to have to um, fill in the cracks with. So, ring the doorbell, make sure nobody's here. It still looks empty inside. Hello? Okay. So, we'll turn some lights on. Oh, wow. Left my glasses here last time I was here. All right, so uh, one thing we did want to do too is we wanted to check the uh, moisture content as well. So let's go ahead and um, let me cut this off and then go check the moisture content. Okay, so first things first. I want to check the moisture content with my protometer. So here we are. We're going to fire it up. And let's check some moisture content. So let's, let me bring it down here where I'm at. There we go. So we're going to check it here. Time. 10.9, 10.8. Let's see what it's looking like. It's a little dark over here. Let's see what it says here. So there is still a little moisture. moist there too. So I'm going to let it um, dry up a little more. I guess it'll dry up pretty nice uh, once it dries. Let's, let's go into the bathrooms. Um, where I had some issues that looked dark in here as well. So I'm gonna. So it's a little higher, 15.5, than it is 12. So I'm just gonna assume. that the moisture content <clears throat> is a little higher there. All right. So, let's go to the um, master bathroom where they said they couldn't get that clean. And we scrubbed it pretty good here. It looks like so we got it a lot cleaner than what it was. It's still just a little moist. So we'll have to come back and check it out because the rest of it looks good. 
Hey everybody, Ira Miller here, Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel. We are back out here at a lair loop to check out the grout. So, this is about a week later. This is Tuesday, June 13th, and we're going to check out, uh, see how the grout, uh, how the grout is uh, drying up, and also how the conk is matching. Uh, where we filled it in. So I haven't even been in the house yet. So let's go ahead and come on with me. We're going to check it out together and we're going to see how it came out. So I'm going to ring the doorbell first. See if anybody's home. I don't think anybody's home because she hasn't moved in yet. But you never know. So, the big test. And we want to turn, oh yeah, looks like it. All right, so. Looks like it came out pretty good. I don't see any more of the crack than it did. So there's a little dark spot uh, right here. Maybe it just hasn't um, dried enough. I'm gonna go out and get my, um, my moisture meter and see if it is a little bit wet there. This is, the toilet area. So, looks a lot better, doesn't look 100%. Okay, so I have my moisture meter here. Let's go ahead and get it out. Power it up. And let's do this. So this looks like a dry area. So about 8.3. Now let's go back here. And let me see what we're looking at here, okay. It's still a little wet. 15. So that's why it's still looking kind of a little dark. Unreal. Hmm. Okay, well. That's 12. All right, so I guess we still have some drying to do in here, which is interesting to me. Let's go back into the kitchen and uh, see how we're doing there. Okay. So this is a wider area right here. That's still a little damp. Let's go to the dark spot. Fourteen and a half. And what is this? Okay, well, and this is a little dark, the little dark spot here we looked at. Just about 16, 
17. All right, well, it's still a little bit wet. And let's just double check over here. Eight. All right, so. Definitely looking better. And uh, I can tell you, I'm a little happier and come up here. All right. So I'm a little happier with um, the results after I've been in there and scrubbed it up a little bit and put some caulk in there. Um, so there we go. And um, we can kind of finish this video up now knowing that it looks better than what it did when uh, I first saw it after those tile cleaners came in here. So there we go. Um, I wanted to step up to the plate, make sure she was happy with how the, uh, how everything came out. Okay, so, uh, all right, I'm signing off. I'm happy with what we have now. Oh, one more thing before I sign off. We did kind of do a little something over here um, in the guest bathroom. And it's still a little dark down there too, but I would kind of bet money after what we've done. We're still looking at a little bit of a drying period. And let's do one last thing. One last thing. So I think this is the culprit. 94 degrees outside is 82 in here. Uh, and she says, keep it set at 82. So I guarantee you, if this home, if the air conditioner was set um, in the 70s, that if this would have dried a lot faster and um, there wouldn't be any question about what it, it looks like. So I think because it's only set at 80, the air conditioner barely comes on. An air conditioner is a dehumidifier as well. So it's not keeping um, this floor as dry, I think, or, or allowing the floor to dry as fast as it should. Like I said, if she brought it down to about at least 76, then that, then that whole dehumidifying process of the air-conditioned air, um, or the conditioned air, I should say, would definitely have promoted this a little bit better. But anyways, it looks a lot more uniform. I'm more than happy with what I see now. So on to our next project. Thanks for watching this video and We'll see you in our next video. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You want to go and watch Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel. And also, if I can do anything for you, give us a call, 352-204-9026. Thanks a lot, bye.